Many mobile operators are now accelerating their 5G rollouts and are starting to deploy 5G core systems. So today I'm speaking with Stefan Javabring, he's Group CTO at the Telia Group, about his company's 5G network plans. So uh, Stefan, can you tell us where Telia is today with its 5G deployment? Of course, um, we launched for, for um, our first launch was in Finland, that was uh, last year. Uh, and so we have been gaining quite a lot of, of learning from that. And we have also now launched uh, in Sweden and Norway this year. And then we are preparing and planning for, for uh, our activities in other, our other markets. Okay, great. Um, so what kind of challenges do you have in building a multi-country 5G network? And, and how does that reflect on the core of the network? Well, I would say that actually... To the largest extent, we have an opportunity, not a challenge, because what we're about to do is, first of all, we, are, we will roll out 5G in a standardized way in all our markets, so it will be kind of done in one way. Uh, however, it, it is done differently in the countries looking at the kind of local uh, market requirements, so it will be kind of the pace will be different in all countries. Uh, and then we have one common core setup, and that we've had for quite a while, actually, uh, with a virtual EPC from Nokia since a couple of years so what we are doing is that we're having one same core with the same type of uh, service setup and then that is being locally deployed in all countries for uh, from both both the regulatory and the kind of performance perspective but it is the same and that will uh, increase our uh, time to market quite a lot so we develop our objective is to develop everything once and deploy it six times okay excellent now what are the critical requirements for your core network evolution as you head towards 5G standalone? Well, first of all, I mean, we are on the start uh, of a journey and, and, and that journey, what will be important is definitely uh, the optimization and, and the orchestration of the entire cloud core. Um, where we are now with looking at the first steps on the standalone journey, it is basically to, to have a smooth evolution from where we are to, to have uh, stability and ease in the first uh, steps. Uh, so for us, it was a quite natural conclusion to, to extrapolate and kind of continue on the cooperation we, we had with Nokia on, on, from the virtual EPC into the, to the standalone core. Okay, great. And are there any other particular reasons why you've chosen Nokia to be your 5G standalone core partner? Um, I mean, the simple question is that we had quite a, quite a, an extensive evaluation of the capabilities of different solutions and Nokia met our requirements and, and uh, it is easy and uh, for us to use uh, Nokia as an existing core partner to evolve into the next step of uh, 5G standalone. Uh, so we are running commercial 5G today on non-standalone core from Nokia. Okay, excellent. Uh, and what kind of unique services uh, are you going to be offering uh, with your 5G packages? First of all, I mean, 5G as it is, is, is uh, like 4G, but better in all aspects in terms of performance, in terms of speed and latency and so on. So that is step one, and that will benefit uh, everyone, including ourselves as, as an operator as well, in terms of cost of production will be decreased. decreased. Uh, the, the kind of uh, energy consumption, the, 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 the efficiency of the system is, is uh, in our estimation, five times higher. So just that is of course really important. Then when it comes to with the services that will evolve over time, that will of course utilize the possibility to do slicing and, and the unique services. And that could be used for fixed wireless access as an example for private consumers and B2B segment. But, but then of course the big explosion that everyone is talking about is the kind of the industry 4.0 type of services where you would tailor services for the specific use cases. Be it nationwide services for, for for a specific B2B application, uh, or it could be um, uh, for a specific production plant uh, or a small geographical area where before a company will help them digitize their own uh, production by uh, having a, a, a private network for them. So it's, it's these type of services that, uh, that will evolve. Uh, and I think yeah, I would lie if I would say that we know exactly what these services will be. Nobody knows, and this is so exciting. We will kind of evolve with the industry. 
Okay, excellent. Yep, there's an exciting future ahead. Uh, and speaking of the it future, uh, how does Nokia fit into your future strategy? Uh, Nokia has been a partner f- uh, with Telia for, for a very long time and will continue to be so. Uh, and this is one step into that. So we are using several partners and Nokia is one of our key partners uh, in, in, in wireless and 5G, definitely. Stefan, can you tell us what it's been like to work with Nokia as a partner? The difference between a vendor and a partner is that the partner understands us, can foresee our need, and we're able to have discussions on the next steps, which is not just selling stuff. And that we are doing with Nokia, definitely. And that is to us partnership. And we have been doing it for a long, long time with Nokia and will continue. Okay, excellent. And uh, any other final thoughts about uh, the, the 5G future that you'd like to share with us? Uh, I can't say I, it's it's everything comes down to that this will be a step change in both efficiency and in innovation. I think that the success is not only to roll out the connectivity that is to be able to um, foster the innovation both within us but also with our partners Nokia but also service partners to, to have the kind of next generation of services and then uh, this will be a, a quite a major change in the industry and it's it's not about just rolling out another g like 4g was compared to 3g this is uh, beyond that okay excellent well we look forward to what 5g brings us in the future stefan thanks very much for talking with us today thank you